I've got 10 add-ons that I've put into different categories to help you make the right decision. As we all know, learning can do just about anything, but it can get pretty confusing with a lot of menus and a lot of features hidden behind those menus and a lot of clicks to get to those features behind those menus. Exhausting. So, as a 3D artist, you need a way to improve your workflow and make you create models faster and more efficiently. So first on the list, we have the grid modeler. This hard ones help you create meshes and cut this model using a grid that's fully customizable. My favorite feature of this add-on is the Brilliant Cuts that it lets you do really fast without having to use the Brilliant modifier. These add-ons help you create models fast, like really fast. Next on the hard surface list, we have Fluent. This one is a most with Fluent to preserve out. This add-on is an excellent and useful add-on when it comes to hard surface modeling because of its main functionalities. This add-on does boolean operations and small tools. This add-on will save you a lot of modeling time as it will help you create cables, pipes, chains and wires which add a layer of detail to your model. Next on the list we have hard ups and boss cutter. This add-on is made to streamline your hard surface modeling workflow in Blender for managing your modifiers, adding bevels to your modifiers and also sharpening the edges of your modifiers. Boss cutter on the other hand is used for cutting the mesh as may suggest. This add-on is one of the best splitter add-ons out there. This is tools that you offer. It is powerful because of its modifier based non-destructive workflow with menus and active tools to improve your modeling speed. And the last we have on the hard surface modeling category, we have decal machines. This add-on is specifically good for adding details to your model in a non-destructive way. It has a library of decals that you can add to your model especially when you're working on sci-fi art. You can create your own custom decals and add them to the library. These decals can be projected onto your model. If you want details on your hard surface model, I will fully recommend this add-on. For the environmental and aggregate category, first on the list we have Botanic. This add-on is a must for environmental artists and aggregate artists as this contains an extensive library of optimized realistic 3D trees, plants and shrubs for architectural visualization, environmental design, landscaping and other various scenes that require greenery. This add-on is great for improving details in your scenes and making your renders look realistic. We all know how difficult it is to manage the perspective of a reference image when imports into Blender. That's where f comes in. This is a free add-on that is known for its camera matching capabilities. This helps estimate camera parameters from an image reference and you can easily recreate it using that perspective in Blender. Next on the list we have Polygon, created by Blender Guru and his team. This add-on lets you browse and download assets, materials and HDRI directly into Blender without leaving the software. They have a wide range of high quality materials and assets I can use to populate your scene and add level of realism to your renders. For the last category, first on that list, we have the Sculpt Plus Paint Wheel. If you are in Sculpt mode a lot, this add-on is for you. This will greatly enhance your workflow with the carefully designed Sculpt and Paint widget. You can increase the strength and size of your brush while sculpting. The widget is fully customizable as well as the buttons on the widget. Next on the list, we have Softwrap. This add-on helps you with topology by wrapping a simple mesh around a more dense mesh. We know how a topology can be time-consuming and also make you lose your mind, literally. <coughs> this add-on works by using a body simulation. For last on the list, we have Instant Mesh Remesh. With just a few clicks, this is a free add-on that can help you remesh your model giving you a better looking result than the automatic remesh tool in Blender. This is a very useful tool while sculpting, as your model might not have a good topology or too many polycals to be used in the game engine. So, you might want to take the bull by its horn and create some art with these add-ons. But if you don't improve your art, your renders will keep looking like this. Check out this video to take your art to the next level.